Hi, this is Matt Bernstein, and we're going to learn about Instagram Marketing 101. Why is Instagram so good for interaction? Especially considering that on the face of it, Instagram sees very much more geared towards sharing personal content with no marketing angle. Well, actually, it's the focus and its limitations that actually make Instagram so effective. You see, people are very cynical of businesses, and they're very tired of seeing the same marketing message over and over again. It's incredibly annoying then to head onto Facebook to have a chat with your friends or see photos of your new niece only to then be bombarded for offers and products saying click here, enter your email, buy now. Is it any wonder people aren't engaging? On Instagram though, there is no click here or buy now. Rather there is just here's a photo of us working in our office, a funny meme, a picture of something that encapsulates the subject you're interested in, a new product framed artistically. This is far less invasive. As such, brands on Instagram come across much more genuine and don't appear to have the same obvious ulterior motive. At the same time, because you're forced to create something artistic and interesting on Instagram that will help you make your business seem much more trendy, artistic, and interesting in itself. A company that is constantly uploading pictures of sunsets or the products in amazing light or inspirational messages is going to seem much more savvy in the tune with their customers as opposed to a company that keeps just featuring large banners telling people to buy stuff. The objective of Instagram. Instagram is potentially highly lucrative for brands, then it is a very smart place to get them to invest their time and their money. While this may be true though, it is also very different from other platforms and other social networks. What this means is that you need to approach it differently and you need to have different objectives or else you'll be disappointed. So what does this mean? For starters, you need to be aware that Instagram isn't about making direct sales and conversions. You can't include links in your description that will send people anywhere. So you can't have click here to buy now, call to action. Remember, this is a good thing at the end of the day as far as your marketing is concerned. So instead, what you need to do is focus on your brand visibility, popularity, loyalty, and authority. Your aim is to build followers on Instagram so that you will see content and constantly are reminded about your brand and why it matters to them. Likewise, you'll want people to see who already like your brand to learn to like it even more and to be able to constantly remind that you exist and all of the great things that they can buy from you. This is a very much slow burn marketing strategy, then it should not be measured in terms of immediate return on investment. This should be measured in terms of engagement, growth, and popularity. In the long term, this is actually much more valuable than a single sale. Creating amazing content for Instagram. So now you know the power of Instagram and you know what the overall objective is, the next question is how you'll go populating your account with content that will really stand out and get noticed. Of course, the majority of the content is going to be photos. The good news here is that you don't need a powerful camera to create these photos and can instead do a perfectly good job with a simple camera phone. Remember the dimensions of Instagram photos are relatively small and the filters are going to be able to hide any resolution anyways. Obviously, Instagram caters very well to creative brands and to companies that sell crafts, clothing, clothing, ornaments, or anything that is aesthetically pleasing and likely appeal to an audience that likes beautiful things. If you knit plush toys or design shoes, then you can upload pictures to show off your products in a very stylish way. Restaurants and food companies, meanwhile, can be highly successful showing images of what they're cooking or preparing. Surprisingly, this will also work very well for technology companies, car manufacturers, and even companies creating kitchen cutlery. Services might also work. Whether you show photos of beautiful websites you've helped create or upload images of your team looking over the shoulder of someone working at the computer. Another angle is to try the lifestyle and value proposition. Surrounding your brand, there's a saying that you don't sell hats, you sell warm heads. What is the equivalent of a warm head? In other words, if your company sells fitness equipment, then you can upload photos of the equipment, but then you can also upload photos of the lifestyle. This could mean a photo of a taped or chalked hand, ready to grab a pull-up bar, or it can mean a photo of an empty protein shaker, can mean a picture of a figure running on the horizon against the sunrise. 
Maybe it means a picture of someone looking very confident in great shape on the beach. If you sell holidays, then your photos could be very exotic locations, people relaxing in pools, and people backpacking across the desert. This also works for services. If your company offers consultations, legal advice, or accounting, then you might have pictures synonymous with business and success, such as people looking out of their office on the 20th floor, city lights at night, or hands shaking. In all of these cases, you need to think about making the image look good in itself, and you need to think about how it's going to make people feel. You need to think about the target demographic and how they want to feel. Ultimately, if your images inspire positive emotions, then you'll get followers. A completely different approach to take is to show images of your personal life. This is useful for bloggers and entrepreneurs who want to create a personal brand. Actors, bloggers, digital marketers, musicians, gurus, YouTube stars, and much more all of Instagram accounts and show what they're getting up to. The objective here is to allow your fans and followers a glimpse into your lifestyle so that they can feel like they know you. This will build your brand loyalty and your authority so it will make you more likable, thus increasing the chance that someone will buy from you. While the objective here is to provide an honest insight into your lifestyle, remember that you also want to appear knowledgeable. And if you're promoting a certain lifestyle or product, then you want to imply that this actually works. What it means is that, again, you need to think about the way your photos will make the viewers feel. Try and showcase your lifestyle in a way that makes it seem desirable and makes you seem successful and confident. This will make your followers more likely to want to listen to your advice. Selfies are really popular on Instagram. Of course, this is the perfect place to use them. Finally, note that your Instagram content can also be designed to provide value as information and entertainment. A great example of this would be a restaurant that also provided recipe ideas or perhaps a clothing company that offered style suggestions and tips. Many people will follow fashion accounts on Instagram to get the ideas for clothes, combinations, as well as inspiration regarding good outfits and looks. You can also provide inspiration via Instagram tips, news, ideas for nights out. Think about what fits with your brand and how you can deliver useful information in a visual format. Videos for Instagram. Another great feature of Instagram is the ability to upload short videos, which is somewhat similar to Vine or Snapchat. You can use this to talk directly to your viewers, to tell a short story, or to convey something that you can't put across in words. Or even place a small advert here. Though again, you don't want to be too on the nose in terms of marketing. Something that's currently very popular is the app called Lapsit. As you may have guessed by the name, Lapsit is a time-lapse app which means you can film you by taking a photo once every 1, 10, or 60 seconds, etc. This then creates a video that shows you changing positions rapidly so you can tell a much better story in terms of seconds rather than a video. Laps can be used, for instance, to show that you and your friends are playing in the sea or the beach if your video is about travel. You can then use time passing to show while you work at the computer. It could be used to show workout in a short space of time. Definitely want to consider using tags. You can also have the very best video in the world. If no one looked at them, it wouldn't help you very much. In order, you need to ensure you're providing a way for your visitors to find or your content, and the best way to do that is with tags. Tags tell people what your photos are all about, and they can be used for comic effect or to make interesting observations. At the same time, though, your tags are also about getting found in the right place. So what you need to ask yourself is what people are likely to search and what isn't already too crowded. If you're in amazing shape and try promoting your protein shake, then upload a video of yourself topless after a workout, if you're a guy, <laughs> and a great way to get tons of exposure. But this depends entirely on the tags that you use. If you add the tag fitness, for example, then you shouldn't expect it to bring you any views. Why? Because this tag is just too popular and too widely used. In other words, hundreds or even thousands of people thought to upload photos with this tag every few minutes and such your image will be buried as soon as you upload it. On the other hand, bossing it is probably a bit too obscure and unlikely to get searched for often at all. So instead, you might try something like Obliques, which is a less overcrowded but still popular. Maybe Washboard Abs, 
or maybe gym motivation. If you're unsure, then do research beforehand to see which tags are performing well so other people aren't overly crowding the tags that you wanna use.